to play. We've watched college athletes make money from their name, image, and likeness over the past few years. But what about high school athletes? Fox 13's Ariel Placencia breaks down the proposal from the Florida High School Athletic Association and explains how it could affect your teen athlete's ability to make money. The landscape has changed. Name, image, and likeness. That's what the Florida High School Athletic Association board is talking about. Known as NIL, it's how college athletes are getting paid to play right now. And in 30 states, plus Washington, D.C., high school athletes are making money too, but not here in Florida. So I kind of find myself, uh, feel like somewhere, somewhere in the middle. For more than 30 minutes at their Monday meeting, the FHSAA talked about changing the playing field. The board introduced a proposal that would allow high school athletes to make NIL money from things like commercial endorsements, social media, and product advertisements. Student athletes will not be allowed to use their school name or uniform. Parents must negotiate all NIL deals separate from the school. And certain products and services like alcohol and gambling are off limits. I think that um, it would be a positive. Daryl Williams has twin boys who both wrestle at Brandon High School. Being able to sprinkle a little bit of um, money on some of these kids would be a tremendous motivator for them. And if that motivates them to stay in school and get high grades so that they can go to college, man, that's fantastic. <laughs> Those against student athletes getting paid say NIL ruins the integrity of the game, that players will just transfer and chase the money. If somebody transfers, they're not eligible to receive that NIL. That is the policy. Right. High school athletes who change schools in season won't be allowed to secure an NIL agreement for that season without an exemption, according to the proposal. But that could change. The board decided on Monday to discuss the proposal again at an upcoming workshop. I would love to see specific language that protects schools from liability for damages, loss of NIL bills. For Fox 13 News, I'm Ariel Placencia. The proposal also outlines punishments for student athletes who break the rules outlined by the FHSAA. You'll find those details on our website, fox13news.com.